Near the coast on the western side of the ancient tree is a large clearing away from the roots and tall canopies of the ancient forest. While this area lacks the abundant amount of shade and humidity otherwise available amongst the dense foliage, life here enjoys the warm rays of the sun to the fullest extent. Even here, the final bouts of fresh water that originated at the top of the ancient tree draw a variety of fauna to this location and provide the perfect feeding ground for this herd of aptonauts. Not unlike the aptonauts of the old world, these gentle herbivores spend most of their days grazing on nearly 50 pounds of food daily, while mothers with young eat about double that amount. And just like in the old world, as is in the new world, danger is seldom far from the herd. A Great Jagras These fanged wyverns can grow up to two meters long, and while some may only just be barely bigger than an adult aptonoth, it hardly poses a problem for them. The jaws of the great jagras are able to unhinge from their skull and are capable of completely swallowing prey large as aptonauts whole. After gorging itself with fresh meat, the great dragoras retreats back underneath the cover of the ancient forest. With a quick heave, the great dragoras regurgitates part of the spoils from the afternoon hunt and calls out to alert the other dragoras in the area before retiring temporarily to his den to rest. After checking for danger, the Jagras pack hungrily tears into the partially digested remains. Only after a brief moment's respite, the great Jagras once again heads out to the outskirts of the ancient forest. To keep his pack satiated, the great Jagras will have to succeed in two more hunts before day's end. Another routine of life in the ancient forest.